So hey there, what's up, welcome back to our channel and this is the 12th video of our exciting series build your own virtual assistant and today in this video we're going to make our virtual assistant having the capacity to generate and display images to the user. So this is going to be a lot of more fun, interesting and great project. So sit back, relax and let's get started. Okay, so now I'm in my working directory and let me go towards. Okay, so first let me tell you in this video, we're going to use Bing Image Generator to perform or to make our virtual assistant to generate images. So go to bing.com slash images, then you will be redirected to this page. Okay, now here you need to give the prompt and click on create, then it's going to create some amazing art like you can see over here. Okay, so you are, so we're going to automate this. I mean, we're not going to automate, but there is a module called Bing Image Creator. I think Bing, what the heck? Bing Image Creator. And okay, so whenever you search Bing Image Creator, then go on this PYPI website link and just copy this pip install Bing Image Creator. Copy this and open the terminal in your folder where your virtual assistant is located and then paste it and hit the enter then it's going to download it okay so now in the functions let us create a file called you don't have to create it inside the functions uh, you can do it outside also but we're going to delete that file later and i'm going to tell you why so with this video till the end to know why we are going to delete that okay so let me write bing.py it's just a random thing okay we're going to delete this file now here we'll use os from os import uh, we are going to import system in list directory and let us create a function generate image which is going to take a prompt and then we will write system so let us create a variable called command command will be it will be in a formatted string we will write python python middle dash m bing image creator bing image creator then we will write middle dash middle dash prompt and here let us provide the prompt which is stored inside this argument we are taking so let me write prompt over here and then give a space and write middle dash a capital u so we need to put the value of this capital u over here so let me create a variable cookie cookie equals okay so now we need to insert a value inside this cookie so that it's going to take that cookie as the middle as you i mean we need to paste the value of this thing over here so the question is from where you can get the value of this u to get the value of this u just go and open the bing website just right click click on inspect if you are on microsoft edge okay so i'm going to show you how we can do that in chrome also okay and then just click on this plus icon click on application then you will see a cookies over here it will be closed i think by default so just expand it and go to https www.ping.com and here you will see this load as you thing okay if you don't see then just scroll then you will see load as you and here you will see the value just double click on the value and it will be selected press ctrl c or you can copy it right from here let me go and paste it over here okay so now if you are on google chrome right ping image and just right click click on inspect click on this application click on cookies click on bing.com and here you will see a load as you cookie so here is not that cookie the reason is that i'm not logged in so i need to be logged in instead to get that load as you cookie so make sure that you are logged in once you have done that now 
let us execute that command variable so we'll write system command and then let us return list dir output okay so now let us call the function generate image and the prompt will be a horse and a dog let me run this file okay so now we got an output folder over here so let me click on it and let me see the file you can see the images are too much good you can see the quality in the image it's too great let me go on one okay so why it is corrupted let me go on two and you can see this beautiful image let me go on three and also something great stuff okay so now that we have this so what i can do is instead of this command i can directly put this thing inside this to make it more uh shorter okay so now that we have done this we're going to tell so in the gpt4 we're going to give a prompt over here that whenever the users want to generate the image then do like this okay so as i have told you we don't need this file so we're going to delete that first of all let us create a folder called cookies cookies here uh, let us create a file called bing cookie cookie dot pi here let me place the value of that u cookie value equals the let me go on this ping dot pi and copy the value of this cookie control x and let me paste it over here so paste that cookie in bing cookie dot pi value so which will look like this you cookie value equals like this okay so in the bing dot pi write from cookies cookies dot bing cookies import you cookie value and here pass you cookie value okay so now that we have this we can't access the value of this you cookie from this directory so we need to come out of this thing to find this cookies folder which is outside of this function so we're going to access that from this gpt4 file okay so now let us make our gpt to understand and generate the image so let me write notepad and actually i have done this code so basically what it does is it will give a prompt okay so let me explain you by writing it here and this thing let me paste this and alter okay so here when users say show image this is the function for showing this first let me show you the generate image when user says generate an image and provide a prompt like generate an image about a horse extract the prompt from the user query so it's going to extract the prompt understand our query and ex extract it then give this code to the user so now here you need to do some changes in the go to the bing dot pi file and copy this from bing dot cookies thing and go and paste it over here right here from bing cookie here paste that stuff and then another thing you need to change is this this underscore you cookie value to what we have in this ping dot pi to this the code will be available in the github okay so th don't worry after that we have the code over here okay then while calling the function replace user extracted prompt over here okay with the actual prompt provided by the user to generate the desired image don't write other thing just say okay so generating an image about user prompt and give the code also don't write other things like here's the code you need to change let me remove this thing 
there's the code only there's a the code just skip the code and write okay so it's generating so it's like this now we have another thing called when the user says show image use the following code to display the image in here listen it's going to create a new output file okay so you need to give the exact location of that output file like whenever i say then it's going to be in 0.jpg 1.jpg 2.jpg so it will be easier for us suppose i say show me image then it's going to show zero which is in first and then if i say show me another then it's going to show me another one okay so like this so i need to change this jarvis to ai tutorial which is the folder name ai Okay, so you need to provide the exact location where this output is located you can do like right click and copy relative path and then paste that path over here like this wait copy path copy path do that copy paths in here write triple i mean write double slash okay and then I think you are good to go it will be like this so if you want another image let me show you okay now let me delete this bing thing which is in the function bing.py let me delete that and let me delete this output folder too okay now let's run it generate a image about a spider man and a dog what the f okay so now it Cut the point. Okay, sir. Generating an image about Spider Man in a dog. Here's the code. Please replace the prompt Spider Man in a dog with your desired so you prompt to generate the image. You can remove this. Please replace the prompt with the, like that thing by writing over here. Don't say this while generating the response. Say only this thing. And it's going to work. Okay, so you need to train that. And let us wait for the result. Can you show me the image? Sure, here's the code to display the image. Please make sure to replace the image underscore path variable with the actual path of the image you want to display. Okay, so you can see it's working. Likewise, you can create it and we need to give more to make it more accurate. And so yeah, that's much for this today's video. I hope you found this helpful and I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.